Chapter 3 Foundation Design The foundations is the structural element connected to the columns and wall carrying the vertical loads. It is used to transfer and spread the loads from the structures to the ground and it is normally placed below the ground surface. For a typical structure here, the vertical components that transfer the vertical loads from the upper story to the lower story is known as the column. Below the columns and below the first floor beams and slab, it is known as the stump. The stump sit on the foundations and the foundations transfer the vertical loads to the soil. And the soil here needs to provide resistance to the vertical load so that the entire structures here remain stable. These are the design requirements for the foundations. First, you need to ensure the total settlement within the tolerable small amount. Settlement means the movement of the foundations downward into the soil. It occurs when the reaction force is not equivalent to the vertical load from the structures. This leads to a state that the structure is not in the situations of static equilibrium. Second, the differential settlements of various parts of the structures is to be eliminated as possible. The meaning of differential settlements is when the settlements of different foundations are at different rate. Some foundations may have larger settlement while the other have little or none. This lead to a situation of undesired deformations of the structural elements of the structures and such deformations will create stresses at the joint between the structural elements. This may result in damage and failure of the structures. In principle, the stress generated by the foundations in contact to the soil must not exceed the soil bearing capacity, otherwise excessive settlements and damage of the building may occur. This will affect the overall stability of the structures so that it is liable to slide, to lift vertically or even to overturn. The reactions to the vertical load generated by the foundations due to the soil is known as the soil bearing pressure. It is normally assumed to be uniformly distributed depending on the property of the soil. This table shows different category of geotechnical design in accordance to Eurocode 7. There are three categories, one to three. The category one is meant for small and simple structure. The structural engineers are fully responsible for the category. The category two are the conventional with no difficult ground or complicated loading conditions. This can be handled by structural or geotechnical engineers. And the category 3 are referring to all the other types of structures which may have a high risk of geotechnical failure. This will require geotechnical engineers to solve the problem. In this chapter and the solutions given in these chapters are meant for category 1 and 2. Category 3 is not covered in this chapter.